statue collector Lou here guys with another statue pickup and review this time it is the awesome spider-man premium format so mine is uh, number 2182 of 2500 it is the exclusive which comes with a second head and a second web hand so this is the hand without the web, of course, I'm going to display it with the web coming out because that just looks amazing. And I believe this is the exclusive head, I'm not 100% sure, uh, with uh, one eye smaller than the other because he's winking. Uh, but I prefer the regular head or that head that's on it right now. So... He stands approximately 26 inches, 25 and a half if you want to be exact. Um, amazing piece with great presence. I mean, this is an absolutely superb statue, guys. Uh, you have the ground illusion of the smoke coming up with the pumpkin bombs. Uh, looks much better in person than it did in the uh, videos. The videos made it look way too orange, where mine has a lot more black in it uh, uh, for the smoke effect. So it looks amazing. You see the glow from the fire on the girder itself. Uh, the uh, rest of the girder has got that green, which they're known for, with the rust going through it. So again, looking very uh, realistic. Uh, the hook looks great on it. Uh, it easily slides on and off. Uh, the hook actually feels plasticky, but it uh, looks very good. Uh, and the way it slides on and off is perfect for packaging and whatnot. The piece itself is just amazing, guys. It's very heavy, but very sturdy. Um, you know, there's a pin that goes all the way through the arm and into the body, and then there's all framework in there. So he's secure. Um, amazingly sculpted. I'll start doing the pan around. So you got an uh, amazing paint job on this, great shading. You know, they use different hues of uh, blue to create the musculature. Uh, which is the proper way to shade. In the red, you have some black sprayed in, but uh, also different shades of red again, causing the good shading. Each line is painted very well. I mean, granted, with all this line work, you are going to have one or two out of place, and I, I, I can see two spots, uh, but nothing major that if, uh, unless you're, you know, I'm this close to it to notice. If I'm going to be seeing it from a normal viewing range, you aren't going to be able to pick that up. Um, but other than that, the line work is great on mine. It just had the two little hiccups. The webbing coming out looks great. It's a clear resin with a little white and uh, blue, I believe, put in there. So it looks great. Uh, even the shading on the eyes themselves, uh, on the mask, amazing. Um, the paint job on the spider emblem, just great. I mean, everything about this, guys. The, the pose is perfect for Spider-Man. You know, it's just uh, an epic, that's a pose you'd see him in. You know, he's very... Um, like a gymnast you know he could do flexible is the word i'm looking for he does a lot of that great stuff so you could see all of that in this piece you could see the power the presence it's very big you know it's definitely quarter scale but you could see this thing uh is so much bigger than my j scott campbell version you know so which is a slightly smaller scale. It still looks great, but this thing is just epic on a whole nother level. And I'm so happy I picked it up. Uh, I'm happy I waited because I absolutely love this piece. I think it's, and don't, you know, hate on uh, me for this, but I actually prefer it to the Comiquette. 
I love the original comic hit, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's a grail in every sense of the word. It was the greatest Spider-Man piece of its time. Uh, however, I feel it was oversized. You know, they made it a bit too big. So that's just my opinion. I love this one. Uh, of course, I'd love to have the other one as well. But I'm very happy with this. I'm happy I went this route and I chose to go with this piece instead of spending all that extra money. He looks gorgeous. Uh, there's so, only so much you could say about it. There's every ounce of detail from the rivets uh, on the girders, uh, from the screws, uh, the explosion, again, the, uh, the paint job showing the rust and everything on it. Uh, the wear spots where you would have uh, the detail in the bombs themselves, the pumpkin bombs, is just amazing. You see them opening and in this, the one down there actually exploding with the explosion coming out. Uh, you see some cracks and whatnot on uh, this part of the steel girder. So it's, it's just the, a lot of detail went into this piece. You know, this again reminds you of what makes Sideshow great. Uh, the fact that we all love that they've gone back to this better quality uh, in their statues lately. I'm super happy to see that. And I absolutely love this piece. The pose is phenomenal. Again, you can see the perfect bending in the body, the way he'd be swinging his weight around uh, to make that move. Now, I'm not going to really switch it out because there's no point in really switching out the parts you could see for yourself. Uh, and you've probably seen hundreds of reviews on this already. But it's basically the same exact hand without the webbing coming out. So, again, there's no need to switch it off. And the head is basically the same exact head without the wake. So, basically, there's not much difference in either of the pieces. Now, I would have preferred instead of this if they went with an unmasked head. But I do understand you probably wouldn't see Spider-Man swinging like this without his mask. But that would be nice to have seen. Either way, I think this is basically... Uh, a 10 out of 10, you know, at the very lowest, a 9.5 out of 10. It's an absolutely stunning piece. It's absolutely worth every dollar that it cost. And it's stunning. It has a lot of presence. And it's just Spider-Man to a T. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments, do you like it? Which one do you prefer more? Are you a Spider-Man fan? Who else in the Spider-Man universe would you love to see made? Uh, I love hearing the comments and your thoughts on these pieces. So guys, thanks for watching uh, and always being a part of my channel. This is Hero Statue Collector Lou out. Peace! Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook at Heroic Sculptures and Twitter at Heroic Sculpture.